All right, here we go. Lions Fire UT 1300. Power your life. Lion Energy. Um, unboxing, sort of why I am going with these and uh, getting rid of these. So these are um, Interstate AGM 100 amp hour batteries. There are three of them. I am not a professional installer. I am not even do many reviews, but here's the thing. I saw these at Costco. Um, I looked them up online and I've thought about lithium for a while, but I thought, man, they're expensive. But then I did more and more research and there just wasn't much stuff online that I really liked. Not that I'm going to have the best stuff, but at least there'll be something new to tell you why this is a good option. So we'll unbox because I guess that's what people do. But more so, I wanted something here on YouTube that would uh, share why this is so no-brainer. This isn't just like, I think maybe I'll do this. This is like, once I researched it, I was like, um, uh, I would be dumb if I didn't go switch from AGM, because they are inside of this Airstream. I can't put them outside. There's just nowhere to put them. So I had to go with AGMs, which were... 300 330 dollars a piece three of them um so that was like a thousand dollars and i do have a very nice um i have the magnum energy system a 2012 system i really want the hybrid i can tell you why all the reasons why that would be so much better for me and that's a upcoming purchase so this thing is wrapped well i'm mostly chatting so sorry let me pause this get this out of the box Okay, we're back. Um, uh, it comes with these. It comes this way. If you get them shipped, it actually comes inside of another box. So it's like double boxed. But um, I already took it out of the other box. And uh, here we go. I think we're talking 23 pounds, maybe 26. I can't remember exactness. I did all the research because those things are like 68 pounds. So now I'm going to have two of these. Let's uh, let's take a look here. 105 amps. So that's even a little bit better. Um, uh, and uh, let's check this. Cool. Seems to be working. I live in Utah. They're close by. So if anything was a problem, I went and I ch chatted with them. They gave me some paperwork, uh, really good, just super chatty, want to help. They, uh, I'm sure they'd answer phone calls, emails, send you all sorts of documents. They seem like they're organized and willing to help out. So there we go. Uh, Lion Energy off. I mean, I'm a photographer. It's not the biggest deal that it looks good, but legitimately the best looking of the lithium batteries that I've looked at and good price and 105 was great and um I mean other than that I guess it's this isn't like a how-to this is like a podcast of me talking about why this is good but also why I'm switching away from AGMs to lithium so three 68 pounds each okay Two, there's the other box, 25-ish pounds each. Maybe that's 50 pounds. So 110 pounds less. 110 amps compared to, well, I'd be sorry, 210 amps compared to 300. But if you can go down 80%, that's 160 plus usable amps. Over here, we're talking 150. Also, unless you can be super duper careful with AGMs and always charge all the way up and, and never go down below, okay, maybe. And you don't care about the weight, okay, maybe. But if you're like me and I've got a generator, I'm in the Airstream, I've got um, just, I've got a, a generator that charges and I can't run it all the time. Sometimes I'm like in a national park, two hour 
uh, limit when you're at the campground. That's all you can run the generator. And I thought it was just so stupid that, um, that I was running a generator or, I mean, I do have solar as well, but it doesn't quite do what I need. I have a large computer. Any case, um, uh, so we've got a lot of needs. So I'm running at, if you want to know, if you're geeky like me, um, with this computer set up here, um, it's, it's kind of a mess. I wasn't planning on showing that, so I didn't want to do too much, but, uh, I'm running at like 20 to 25 amps with the computer, uh, amp out. So, uh, that would give me, if that was running at full capacity, which the batteries may not be because uh, you have to go up all the, you had to be perfect with them. So let's say in perfect world, it's 150. Um, but because it's not perfect, because they're now a little bit old, because also the other point is that those are 300 to 500 charges, maybe something like that. This is like 3000 charges. You'll have to double check on the numbers of both of these. That's a 31 AGM seven. Okay. And this is the 1300 UT 1300. Okay. So those are almost shot. I'm getting maybe a hundred total, probably less. So I'm looking at around four hours of usage there. These are going to be new. They're going to be great. Um, they're going to help me do, let's see, 160. So we're talking eight hours, maybe seven to eight hours. And that's like three to four. Let's be honest. I've done, I've done some timing recently. L legitimately, I'm getting three to four. And here I'm going to be doing seven to eight with only two batteries. I'm saving 110 pounds and these are going to last for like 10 years. And also the big thing, what I was talking about, the generator, um, is that I can push in a hundred amps. I don't know what those technically were that I could do. I mean, we could go and look in, I could tell you in real life what it was really doing. Uh, we need to pull one out. I am going to do one maybe of install, uh, of how I have setting it up, but this is what I mostly wanted to talk about. The other big thing, I know I kind of started down this road. When I got the generator and I can push in a hundred amps, I can do that pretty much up to the point of it being full. AGMs, trickle charge, you got the float going on. That's how I understand it. Now I'm gonna learn when I get it set up and I can revisit it. So don't take what I'm saying as gospel until I can tell you how it is. But with the AGMs and I've got huge thick wires, I've got the good battery, uh, Magnum battery charger. We're looking at, um, 60 is kind of what I'm pushing in. Now, now I could do 100 and I, I, I think there's a way I could do more. If I was fancy with the setup, I could push in more, but I don't have enough generator power to, I've got a pretty good, you know, 3000 watt generator, but I don't think that it's going to handle doing 200. But a hundred all the way to the top instead of running the freaking generator with it float charging at like five amps. How ridiculous is that? So that's just so stupid that I'm having to run a generator and then maybe the, the solar is going to do a better job. I think, think things are going to get better. I go off into the mountains for like a week or two working on the computer, doing pictures. People come visit me for photo shoots, all that sort of stuff. And I work on the side. Yeah, whatever. You don't need to know about life. You're here to learn about Lion Energy with me just chatting. I mean, we didn't really do much. Just me chatting. Hope you enjoyed it. And that's, I think, all I got. Um, I mean, I would do a setup video, but it's like, why are you listening to me? Because I'm not like a professional installer. I'm just kind of doing my thing, making sure things work out. Okay. That's that's it. If you have any questions, ask away.